My name is Dipak Natali. Um, I'm the President and Managing Director of Special Olympics Asia Pacific. I've been working in fundraising now for about 18 years. I started my fundraising career at Scope, the UK disability charity, um, and have worked in a variety of roles over many years in corporate fundraising, public sector fundraising, uh, individual giving, and also institutional trusts and foundations. Um, I've been with Special Olympics now since 2006, uh, firstly at Special Olympics Europe Eurasia, and then moved to uh, Singapore to join the Asia Pacific team in 2013. Special Olympics is a global movement dedicated to improving the lives of people with intellectual disabilities. Uh, we do that primarily on the sports field, but we also work within healthcare, education, skills development, uh, looking at ways that people with intellectual disabilities can demonstrate what they can do and be further accepted within society. We work in 180 countries worldwide with uh, about five and a half million athletes. Um, in the Asia Pacific region, we work in 35 countries. Um, and uh, that spans from all the way in Afghanistan in the west through to American Samoa in the east. Our fundraising efforts have been really significantly impacted by COVID-19. At the beginning of the year, I think our intention was really to expand our face-to-face -face fundraising, a huge mainstay of our activity, especially here in Singapore. Um, and also to grow and develop uh, our corporate fundraising. Um, unfortunately, as a result of COVID-19, our face-to-face -face fundraising has been halted. Therefore, our expansion is also halted. And then in terms of our, uh, our corporate discussions, many of those are stalled, I guess, as society comes to grips with this new normal. So I guess whilst uh, COVID-19 has presented us with so many new challenges, it's also given us a chance really to, to refocus and, and to innovate, doing things that we probably otherwise wouldn't have done. Um, I think first and foremost, we've, we've really looked at trying to establish better relationships with our existing donor base. We know that with the income forecast going down, that this is a great opportunity and there is a necessity for us to work more closely and be more engaged with our donors. Um, we've also looked at our online and digital fundraising, making sure that we're, we're really in it doing something which others haven't seen yet. And we, that's exemplified through our new campaign, which is called uh, My Normal, hashtag My Normal. COVID-19 has had a really significant impact on all of our activities as a, as a sports organisation. Uh, physical contact and physical presence is something that obviously needs to take place. What we've had to do is halt our activities worldwide. Um, obviously, people with intellectual disabilities uh, in this type of situation can be adversely affected disproportionately to the, to the wider population. So that's something that we've been very conscious of. Um, what we've done, therefore, is try and provide virtual solutions. We've, we've provided offline uh, flashcards that people can use in their homes. We've developed a, a fitness-based app that people can do at home. Um, and, and then looked at ways in which we can deliver a lot of our information and, and our training uh, in, 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 uh, online through webinars and so forth. It's a, it's a tough situation we find ourselves in, especially as, as we know that uh, the world is gonna have changed massively as a result of this. Um, I think from an income generation perspective, we find ourselves also seeing uh, us needing to use virtual solutions a lot more to keep the cost down. And, and I think we'll be seeing more of that in the future. I think we're going to see huge changes in the way we fundraise now. Um, I think that we certainly won't be going back to the way things were done before. Um, having said that, I think that there's a, a, a huge scope here for us to be working more collaboratively, uh, to, to start to look at new ways of fundraising and, and perhaps putting more emphasis more than anything else on, on online and, and digital marketing. 
Um, these things, I think, are, are now here to stay. Uh, they have been for some time. But what COVID-19 has shown us is that there's a, there's a desperate need for us to be able to communicate differently and also a desperate need for, for the entire nonprofit world really to, to come together and, and consolidate a lot of the, the fundraising initiatives and campaigns that we do.